Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Devar Halacha. And here's a brand new Halacha for you, and it's for Tuesday, the 12th day of um, April. Here we go. Sorry, I don't have my NCSY backdrop with me here today. Hopefully, it'll be back tomorrow. Uh, I want to give you an extended law today on kidneyos. You know that the general rule for kidneyos is that Ashkenaz Jews only don't eat kidneyos throughout Pesach, and mainly it consists of things like rice and corn because they, the short version of it is because they can be confused with chametz or they can be mixed with chametz, they can be made into bread type of stuff. So the rabbis forbade them throughout Pesach and their derivatives. But what I want to do today is extend that law to other common products that you should know to stay away from if you're Ashkenazic and following the custom of not eating kidneys. So corn and rice would be out for you, but here are some other things. Uh, bean sprouts, black-eyed peas, I'm reading from a list here, uh, canola oil, caraway seeds, chickpeas also would be considered kidneys and forbidden on Pesach for Ashkenaz Jews. Um, also cumin, green beans, lentils, millet, mustard, please note, mustard would be out for anyone keeping to the laws of uh, the custom of kidneyos. Popcorn and poppy seeds and sesame seeds and snow peas are also forbidden to Jews following the customs of kidneyos. Soybeans, string beans, sunflower seeds, and tofu are also some of the foods that you won't be eating if you're following all the ways of uh, kidneyos. So that's why it becomes like a much broader thing because once all these types of things are included in it, it can really change the, the look of your food eating. No mustard on any of your meat, you know, for example. That's where it hits me. And, uh, you know, peanut butter and things like that also um, end up being out. So that's where it really starts to affect us. Things that are okay, that uh, do not fall under the category of kidneyos, do not, okay? Just want to be clear about that. Are things like coffee, they're fine. Garlic, fine. Um, radishes would be fine, tea would be fine, these things still, where necessary, should have a hechsher, make sure that they were properly prepared for Pesach, but they don't have any kidneyos issues is the point. Most, um, a lot of spices, I should say, are fine and don't fall under the category of kidneyos, except the few that I just mentioned. But when you are buying spices, again, it's still a very good idea to look for a kosher for Pesach symbol, because in the processing, you want to make sure that uh, no other mixing of chametz got blended into that uh, type of spice that you're buying off the shelf. So do look for a, a kosher symbol when buying spices. Now, I don't mean to scare you, but according to some, don't worry about this, I'm just telling it to you as a kind of trivia fact, there were those who considered potatoes to be under the category of kidneys, and that would drastically affect us because there are people who use potatoes and potato starch as a main staple in a lot of their food over Pesach. So fear not, most, 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 most rabbis all say that potatoes do not fall under the category of kidneys, and you can safely consume them and their potato starch and all the derivatives of potato throughout Pesach. None of the rabbis that I know of are telling us to consider potatoes to be under the kidneyos decree. So go ahead and enjoy your potatoes throughout the holiday of Pesach, according to like most, 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 most rabbis. Thanks for logging on. Hope I haven't scared you. And log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.